Hi, I'm Nicole. Welcome to Ergonomic Fitness on IC Digital. Today we're doing a 30-minute improvised workout with this roller board and a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a weight. And if you're interested in, in getting this roller board, we have created an Amazon store and the link is in the description. So you can buy this for $15 or $20. You're ready, I'm ready, let's go. Okay, so what we'll be doing about 15 exercises. Um, I'm using a 10 pound kettlebell, so you are free to do the same or use something heavier or lighter. Um, if you don't have a kettlebell, use the weight. Okay, and then we, need a, we probably need a mat and some water. We're starting in 20 seconds. If you haven't used this board before, um, um, I'm going to explain it a little bit. I want you to, um, when you use it and we're sliding back, make sure that your leg that you put on the board is very light. There's very minimal weight and then you come forward. Okay? So you only need as much weight Exercise one. to slide it slightly back and then you come forward. Make sure you have your navel drawn in so when you slide back you want to keep your spine neutral, so draw your navel in. If you arch, you're too, further, too far back. So rather go a little further forward than going too far and, and, and arch. And then um, have your knee facing forward, it's in line with your toes. And then you roll back and then come forward. Okay? Same with the other side. So slightly go back and then come forward. Relax. Make sure your spine is completely drawn in, your navel is completely drawn in, so you keep your spine neutral. So try a few times with your left and your right side. And then we're starting with the exercises now. Rep one of one. Okay? So slide back. Exercise two. And then you come forward. So keep the board slightly behind you. Exit as you come up. We'll be doing this for 45 seconds and then we switch legs. So works your quads, your glutes and your core and stabilizes your knee, improves balance. So we have five seconds left. Switch sides to figure out if you have um, the perfect amount of weight on you on the board. When you slide back, you should be able to raise your leg and then come forward. One one. So you want to carry most of her weight Exercise on your front leg. Keep your hip, your knee, and your ankle in line. tool and very cheap. This is my favorite workout using the sport. So eventually in the future we might be coming up with our own version but for now I just want you to, I want you to use this. So we have five seconds left. Good. Relax. So we're going sideways. Same concept. You slide only as far sideways as you're still able to have 100% control. Keep your ankle and your knee right underneath your hip. Rep one Starting one. now. Exercise four. Keep your chin slightly tucked in, chest up. I recommend doing this exercise or all these exercises in front of a mirror so you can watch yourself so that you have good form we have 15 seconds left
to keep the same form. If you feel like you start moving too much in your hip, I would rep I recommend going go down with the weight. Exercise five. If the weight is too heavy, you might not have enough core strength or not enough strength in your leg. So this works every part of your, your body when we start using the weight. We have 15 seconds to go. Keeps your heart rate up. Make sure to keep your knee behind your toes. Relax. So when we go down and kneel, I want you to have your forearms resting on the board. If this is too hard, the surface is too hard, use a sweatshirt or a towel. Keep your knees together, toes pointing into the ground, slide forward and then you come back. Exhale as you slide back towards your knees. Keep your elbows right underneath your shoulders and you only slide as far forward as you're able to 100% control it. So your feet should be staying on the ground the whole time. If your feet are coming up, you're too far forward. Chin is slightly tucked in, tucked in, we have nine seconds to go. slide forward and as you slide forward, as you come forward, I'd like you to lift up your knees. Like this. Rep Hold this one for a few seconds. Exercise have seven. your chest up. Make sure you are completely straight in your back and then you come back. Slide forward, move your knees, like lift up your knees off the ground and then you go back. If you have a hard time in this position coming back, put your knees down first and then slide back. If you can keep your back straight, you can go right away. Otherwise, bring your knees down and then slide back. Relax. So, we go back and then using our weight, standing up again. I'd like you to slide back, doing a biceps curl and an overhead one press. One. Exercise eight. When you slide back, make sure to keep your knee behind your toes. Spine is neutral. Keep the board always slightly in front and uh, behind you, even when you slide forward. We have 15 seconds to go. seconds to go. When you need to slide back, make sure you keep your chest up. We have five seconds to go. Relax. Rest. We're doing an ab exercise again. Lay down on your back. 
Right leg is the kettlebell. Left leg is on the board. Exercise ten. Chest press. As you extend your knee, you keep your spine on the ground. We have 20 seconds to go. Make sure you have your lower back on the floor. Switch legs. Your spine should be always touching the floor to prevent back injuries. Rep one at one. Exhale, Exercise as 11. you slide forward and as you move your arm up. Forty-five seconds, we have twenty-five seconds to go. to slide it. We have 10 seconds to go. Both feet on the board. 
And then I would like you to bring your knees in, keep your knees together. Slide back. One and one. Tap one foot on the floor, put your foot back, slide in, slide back, switch legs. chest up and your elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Relax. Good, come up. Using the board again in the standing position. This time I would like you to hold a kettlebell or a weight in this position, palms facing up. We're doing a combination of one one. sliding back, exercise 16. Sliding back, move your arm up as you come forward, and then we're going sideways. Here. Ten seconds left. Switch sides. Relax. Palms facing up, hold the kettlebell right in front of you. Rep one of one. Exercise seventeen. Five seconds to go. Rest. Relax. Go back on your mat. In front of you, put both feet on the on the board. Lay on your back, raise your hips. Rep one and one. And then you exercise eighteen. Bending and extending your knees. If this is too difficult and if you get a cramp, do a single leg. Just move one leg at a time. Make sure you don't roll over your fingers. <laughs> That's painful. We have 10 seconds to go. We 
doing a plank and we have both feet on the board. Rep one of one. Exercise 20. Bend your knees and straighten your knees. Switch sides. Relax. <sighs> Rep one of one. Exercise twenty two. Great for your lower back, so all parts that are facing the ceiling. We have 15 seconds left. Relax. Side plank. You have your foot on the board. If it's too difficult to go on to a plane, keep your knee down and then move your leg forward. If it's easy, you can go into a full side plank. We have 30 seconds to go. circuits and the other way around switch sides relax Leg is bent and resting Rep on one the floor. One. Exercise 24. Make sure to raise your hips as high as possible. If this is easy, you can go into full plank. Move your leg back and forth. And do circles. And the other way around. Lay down on your back. 
No, we go back to standing. And then we go back on the floor later. So use your weight. Rep one at one. You're doing your triceps. Exercise 25. Curl. Two. And I would like you to chop and move the board sideways. One, two, chop, stop the movement right in front of your chest. Ten seconds to go. Switch Relax. sides. Rep one of one. Exercise twenty six. When you do triceps dip, make sure keep your navel drawn in. Don't arch. We have 20 seconds to go.
hands on the mat. We're doing a plank with our hands on the board. And I would like to do a quarter turn. We'll do a few on our hands. And then we go down and do a plank on our forearms. Good. Same thing. And then up on your hands again. Leave them in the comment section below and yeah. Workout finished. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.